jump on into this topic about it's your awakening um so we know we're in the age of aquarius and we know that millions of people are going through these awakenings the last two awakenings were in 99 to 2000 and in if you are like me with me as a so-called ti um, it is from 2011 to 2012. Remember, in 2000, the reason they gave us for everyone changing is Y2K. So they said that the world it was going to black out in Y2K in the year 2000. That wasn't the case. It did not happen. It was people awakening in 99, and they came online. They activated a little bit in 2000 and if we notice it was they gave us that distraction so no one would notice the changes and if you notice the changes then you would know something's wrong with the world right <laughs> if everybody noticed that everybody was changing at the same time we would notice that something was wrong with the world not everybody but a group a large group of people the same thing happened in 2011 we were awakening going through these weird changes in our lives that we probably didn't recognize they were subtle changes, but the lower energies, those demons, those demonic ones recognized that that was happening. So they had to tell us that the world was going to end in 2012. The world did not end in 2012. It was just people awakening in 2011 and coming online in 2000, um, in 2012. And that's when we saw a huge influx of targeted individuals on YouTube telling their stories. So some are painful, some are horrific, and some are painless. They they come in all different stages, levels, ranges, frequencies, vibrations. Some are gradual and some are instantaneous, you know? So we see folks becoming more consciously aware every day. The subtle awakenings are like the truth seekers, the whistleblowers, the off the gridders, the ET spotters, preppers, healers, witches, conspiracy theorists, and the list goes on and on, right? And those are some people who are awakening, the subtle awakenings. These awakenings take place in so-called time and space due to your soul plan. And I know that it's so hard for some people to grasp, especially if you don't understand reincarnation. 
But if you understand reincarnation, then you understand why your soul planned this. You created this awakening for this moment now for a particular reason. And that is what you are here to find out. You're here to find out your life's mission. So these awakenings, some of the signs of these awakenings are becoming more spiritual, not religious. Once you find out the truth about religion, you become more spiritual and you leave religion alone because it it's a lie. And it was done for sinister reasons. They made us believe in religion for sinister reasons to keep us from our awakening. Others are synchronicity. So the word synchronicity, I don't like really. I like a twist of fate because synchronicity is like so many people. It just, I'm tired of the word. But anyway, so I'll use a twist of fate or the person who coined synchronicity. I forgot his name. Carl something Jug, J-U-N-G. He said meaningful coincidences. And I, I can go with that. I used to hate the word coincidence because I didn't believe in them, of course. But he uses meaningful coincidences or twist of fate or sinks is what I will refer to synchronicities as. Developing other signs of your awakening, developing your psychic powers, changing in your being, your whole body with food, with product, clothing, detaching from old the ultimate purge of anger, doubt, fear, rules, regulations, removing people that no longer serve you is a huge one. Friends, family, no matter what, you want to be away from these people because they do you no service. They cannot help you. They lower your frequency. Uh, fear, we said that, right? Rules, regulations, yes. Uh, you're very inquisitive, you're sensitive, your your overall look about the world has drastically changed um, for the better. The veil has been lifted. So for you, it's kind of like, um, for us, it's death and rebirth. Some people say that this process is like they're dying. The old them is, I say that myself, my old name was Jackie. And I don't mind saying that, but my new name is KB. I'm just giving you the initials, but my new name is KB. So Jackie is dead and KB has now is reborn. So it's a rebirth, renewal. Um, so this process changes your life 180 degrees, but uh, for the better. I'm sure this sounds familiar to a lot of targeted individuals, a lot of so-called targeted individuals. You're going through this stuff right now. And it was said that if um, conscience beings, if you're not going through, remember, I'm looking down because I can't remember my thoughts. But if you're not going through this, they say there's a way where you can induce your spiritual awakening. And I'll make a video on it, but I'm sure there's a lot of information out there where you can induce your spiritual awakening. Um. So some of us have been going through this for years and decades, right? And for some people think that they have arrived at their mission of ascension process, that they've arrived, like they don't have to do any more work, but that is not true. If you are a guru, a teacher, a so-called ascendant master, an advanced spiritualist, or a high priestess, however, the awakening process continues until the soul leaves the body or else you would not be here. We are constantly being initiated, tested, given lessons via our soul, higher self till our mission on earth is completed and we ascend it. So this task, it never stops. It never stops. No matter how high you get into your spirituality, it never stops. The initiation process, the test never ends until you initiate and ascend. You've initiated like for the last time and then you, you ascend. So the awakening process for TIs, ooh, boy. And I say it like that because I'm still going through it myself and it can be very devastating. It's kind of like life or death. 
right? This awakening is kind of like life or death. Our process is hardcore. And this is my belief, what I've experienced. So everybody's awakening is different. So there's two types of individuals, right? There's the ones that will play the matrix game. And then there's us who will not play the matrix game. We came down here to, for the mission and to leave, to never reincarnate again. We're number two. And we agree to come here for a powerful mission. Therefore, be deathly challenged by it definitely challenge for it and this is where the game play movie performance show programs begin is when we start to notice all of this stuff happening around us welcome to the truman show right everyone is playing this game they're they're acting they're performing they're they're actors and actresses surrounding you that's how it feels right so the lower energies, the lower energies knew who we were from birth. And they were threatened by our mission because if we all came on board together, we all were activated and very powerful and knew who we were and knew that we are here to accomplish, uh, accomplish our mission. They are threatened because they're scared that we're going to do away with them. They, they, we will, We'll do away with them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be nice. We will do away with them. Their mission is over. They can no longer rule the world like they're ruling because that's what we. If that's why they're afraid, and that's why they're messing with us. And they did it because they're constantly trying to um, deactivate us and manipulate us, interfering by ways of child abuse. As children, as we come out of the womb. Child abuse, sexual abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, abductions, poisonings, medications, extra vaccinations, hospitalizations, rituals, rituals. So many so-called TIs have been put through ritual abuse. And we were given a lot of drama, a lot of drama frequently in our lives, not like other souls. The intense need to interfere in our soul's plan was to accomplish these goals. Mm -hmm. Number one, they want your soul. We, we, most of us have heard this. They want your soul. They are desperate because they know that this group, this wave of beings, these, this wave of souls that came down here are the powerful ones that are sent here for a mission to destroy them right and we destroy them help mother gaia for our mission and we get to ascend never to return again they're threatened by that because they are feeding off of us we are their life source we're the only reason why they're alive they can only live because of us because of what they do to us, they instill fear, they rape, they they beat, they they living off of your energy, living off of your life force is what they're doing. So they're intimidated and scared shitless if we wake up, find out who we are and initiate, go through these processes, initiate a sin to never return again. They're threatened by that because they want our soul. That's their number one purpose. They need these souls to reincarnate over and over again so they can live. DNA. If they can't get the soul, they're going to try with the DNA, which is transhumanism. So with the transhumanism, that's how they're able to keep us low vibrating. That's how they're able to change our DNA so we won't get the codes that are coming down from the cosmos. The third thing is to stop our activation, to stop our powers, stop us from activating. The fourth thing is, of course, to deter you from your mission. So this is how I feel. This is what I've been analyzing, that 
because they tried to do that since birth, since we were adolescents, up until it was time for us to um, come online, activate, awakening to come online to activate, they tried to stop us and their plan failed. We were scheduled to come online in 2012 to activate, to awakening in 2011, come online in 2012. So they desperately hijacked our awakening. The goals still in mind, those four goals that I mentioned are still in mind and their mission now is to force your awakening onto you with sinister lessons by ways of ritual abuse, sex trafficking, torturing, kidnapping, spiritual possession, spirit possession, rape, V2K, voice to skull, directed energy weapons, theft, torture of loved ones and pets, suicide or murder. And the list goes on and that is just to name a few. Everybody's targeting is different. But I'm familiar with most of these on here. So during these extreme, horrific conditions, they're utilizing your powers for rituals and vampings. Going through our awakening, if we reject or buck, it's like a double-edged sword. If we reject, buck, or dismiss the twist of fate, the sinks that triggers, the sink triggers that bring forth our evolution, they are able to make things much harder for us. Using us for more rituals and feedings. If we don't pass, they win. So they allowed us to go through this awakening, right? But putting us through, because they don't, they want you dead anyway. So they're putting us through all of these horrific tasks. Like we have to prove everybody else's awakening is not like this. We have to prove ourselves over and over and over again by surviving these horrific so-called lessons. Keep in mind, we agree to the Truman Show. However, it is a double-edged sword. I said that. These lower vibrations want us dead. Fear of you waking up to your divine powers assisting the world in whatever your gifts are is your mission. And that's what we're here to find out. Via that be allowing by any means necessary so-called good or bad energies to assist us in this awakening. Due to us not wanting to fail our mission, because that's what we came here for, apparently we accepted the challenge. I feel as if we knew we were going to come down here with this mission and up there we knew that we were going to be faced with horrific challenges, but we did not know what they were. I feel we didn't know what they were, but maybe we did know what they were. But we agreed to come down here for this mission and knew it would be challenging, very challenging. So we are being initiated for higher and higher levels of spiritual awakening. The divine is constantly, when I say constantly, they are constantly testing you. They're constantly watching you, putting you through, even using these demonic ones. For your awakening, constantly putting you through tests, seeing if you're worthy for the next level of initiation. As long as you look at the meaningful twist of fate, the sinks in your life, pay close attention to them, analyze them, see what they are trying to convey to you, you will be on your way. We have to pay close attention to what is going on in our lives these are hints these are some of them are from our spiritual team some of them are from our higher self but you best believe these demonic ones because they have to allow us to go through this awakening process when they do something devastating to us there is a is and it's sinister but there is a lesson behind it 
there is a definite lesson behind it. And if you don't catch it, it's only going to get worse. When you are connected and listening to your spirit guides, allow them to guide you. As you do as you're told, your spirit and meaningful twist of fate, they will lead you to let you know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. And I will tell you, it is it is effing difficult when you're not in tune with your spirit. It is very difficult and so easy to get thrown off with men coming into your life or with them distracting you through family members. It You have to try to stay centered and try to, try to stay connected. Correction of self, raising your frequency and your vibration will make life much easier and lower energies will have less and less control over you and your initiation. Keep in mind, a lot of people think that a lot of people, there's a whole debate out there about free will. A lot of people think that we have free will. Um, for me, I think it is different. So this is what I wrote. I said, keep in mind that free will is an illusion to a certain degree. It's not what you think it is. It's an illusion that you have free will is the illusion and we're living in illusion. So it makes sense that free will is an illusion. <laughs> if everything is predetermined, how can you have free will? Right? You didn't complete. You don't have complete free will. If you could alter your life at will, you would not go through some of the horrific life lessons that your soul created for your ascension process. And that is so true. If I knew everything that I would be going through right now and I have free will, there's no effing way I would put myself through this shit. There's no way I'm a better person for it. But the stuff that I've been through, I would never put myself through that willingly, knowing that I am going to be hurt, harmed, tortured. There's no fucking way. If I had free will, if free will was like that. But that's another, that's that's like, like, like people are really debating about that free will stuff. But that's how I feel. I feel we just don't have complete free will. If you decided that you didn't want to go through this awakening process, like I said before, that your soul has planned, you are your so-called targeting, the so-called twist of fate that are quite devastating will only continue and they will get worse. Your soul wants to wake up. And if you keep bucking the lower vibrations that are here to balance you out on your path of awakening, they will wreak havoc in your life until you wake up to your spiritual path and life's purpose. I know I repeated that several times because I, I feel it is so, it is imperative for us as so-called targeted individuals to understand that if we don't focus, if we don't figure out what the twist of fates are, the sinks, the meaningful coincidences, if we don't figure out what they are, we're, we're going to suffer more. And this is, this is going to continue. I mean, things get, they start to uh, lighten up a little bit once you start understanding what is taking place. Once you start figuring it out, you start studying more, thinking about your spirituality, getting in tune with it, getting on that spiritual path, practicing every day, reading every day, doing something every day towards your spirituality. And when those so-called perps, lower vibration, lower demons come into your life, they're there to teach you a lesson. Even though it may be horrific, and I know a lot of people are not going to understand this, but the ones that understand your soul contract, your soul family, understand reincarnation, you understand what I am talking about. And just know it is your awakening. It's a good thing. If you stay focused and it is so serious it's seriously like life and death 
but I'm going to end this now. I hope that you guys were able to understand what I was saying. Yeah. Running. Running. Runnin'. Runnin'. Yeah. I'm running. 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 From my problems lately. Cause it's driving me crazy. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. From my problems lately. Cause it's driving me crazy. I've been running from my problems for a long time now. Trying to find an answer I can figure out. Trying to find a way. How can I escape to a better place? A place where I feel safe. Feels like I'm lost and I don't have no one. Wanna hold my ground, but instead I run. Running all the way. Problems in my face. How can you just be if you don't know the case? For a middle, struggling with problems I've been through. Clear living life, I live is nothing.